Hello friends, welcome back to the part 2 of this TP-Link Archer MR600 LD 4G router setup. In here in part 2 of the video we will install these antennas and uh, we will also compare the with MR400 what's the difference. I will bring the my old router here and we will insert the sim and start it and boot it up and set up. So first of all we will compare how the difference of the interface since if you have the old one you might be thinking that it will connect on the same place and if you can if you are using as a hang it on the wall type then uh, you have to face a bit problem and some changes because my friends as you guys i will show you what's the difference the size see you had this earlier wall mounted right so now if you want to wall mount it there will be a difference because the size of this rotor it is a bit wider as compared to the old one and bit heavier so as you can see i will keep it on top of here so let me show you from top so this is the regular size that we get on the mr600 now this is the mr400 i have aligned it totally to the sides to the sides as you can see here but uh, here you can see that it is very big as compared to the old one. It might be because of the 4G plus modem inside the uh, router now. So this is what the difference. And uh, the second difference that I was telling you earlier, let me put the router on top of here again. Uh, earlier is that this, let me show you, yes. As you can see, this is the difference from MR400 and MR600. So the power button, the power socket, LAN, everything is same. There is only the difference that we used to have the WPS button doubled up as a reset, which is, has been now changed. This is a very good thing, Tippling. Thank you, you have done this. Well, I was facing this a lot of problem when I used to use this WPS button to connect a few other devices. But most of the time, the rotor was uh, going to reset on its own so that was a problem and uh, another thing is that this was a sim card now it is a micro sim card so my friends let's open this up and install the sim first okay i'm using airtel here some of you might be thinking why i have put a tape on this here okay it's because my friends when i hang it on the wall like this so these ports are open towards the top so what happens in long run of uses when dust particles are on top of this here it will go inside this connection ports and later on when i need to use this it will not work fine and uh, if you if it always gets contact with the dust and moisture then these ports will automatically have problems connecting other devices so that's the reason if you want to keep just put a small tab here so i need to put this aside now now we will install uh, the lte antennas Okay, you have to screw it so it is like a screw type uh, it gets it's really easy uh, if you have is used this rotor earlier then it will be easy I am not taking out the stickers now because I have to make some changes on my wall too to get this installed where I use it do place it on a place where you get good signals in your home and uh, make it as a permanent place there because uh, uh, if you uh, place it on an area where it gets good signal then you will not face connectivity issues anytime and you will get good internet speeds okay so it is done I think this side didn't tighten up a lot. Okay, it's tight. Check it once. It's done. Now we have to put micro sim. So we need to uh, pull this out. 
just press it very carefully and uh, it comes out so now you can see this has been converted as a micro sim same process just uh, go ahead and push it inside do check that these filaments are totally clean don't put it or uh, in, inside the device if you have any fingerprints or dust on it be careful to clean it out it's better to clean it always check it without any fingerprint then only you push it inside like this just push it inside like this and uh, you will feel a click and it's locked in now we will boot this up and uh, as always you have the uh, SSID as well as the passwords behind this uh, router you can use this password this password especially for this particular router and uh, you can use your uh, password that you get with your device so first of all i will connect this i need to pause this video for a few minutes so so i have got my power cable set up here as you can see i have connected the power cable here and now i have the power cable here we will be inserting the power cable here be very careful now oh, don't make any kind of problem here because uh, this will be the first boot and it should be perfect yes uh, it is totally tight do check it it is tight or not now we need to switch the plug on so now the lights have been changed uh, now the lights are here the indicators all the indicators are here so we will go ahead and push the power button here So as you can see the power light is up on here and in this way the pattern of lights and everything has been changed earlier here it was like horizontally on the top of here also the TP logo, TP link logo has been moved here this is the new logo my friends this is the new logo uh, they had changed this on the last model so it is booting up as you can see it is booting up so in the meantime I will show you the app that we need to use I have it on my iPhone so you need to install uh, this uh, Theta this uh, this is a TP-Link Wi-Fi device or app let me show you it on the App Store you can go ahead and search it like uh, TP-Link yes yes the tp link theta you need to install this app after installing this just uh, switch it on and after switching it on uh, uh, you need it will ask to connect to wi-fi so you need to go ahead and switch on the wi-fi here it's a bit easier if you go to your uh, uh, settings app because here it will be here showing up all the details so just go ahead and click this like uh, TP link 8BFD you need to open this up and the password here it's showing so we will enter the password that is mentioned on the back of this device okay so let's uh, check it out uh, here the password is double one five triple six one eight so we will go ahead and put this one that is double one okay and now I will click on join so it takes a bit time to join this is because it's the first boot and first join so I think uh, it shows an incorrect password I don't know why let's uh, uh, check this again uh, it was TP link okay it was uh, let me check it again so as you can see here uh, now it is getting connected after it connects it gets the symbol here it's better to switch off your mobile data it's better 
uh, if you are getting fluctuation of your net because it is not catching up to the net now so you swipe it up now you open it up now you go to theta so inside the theta uh, it will show you this uh, archer mr600 now click it it will ask you to log in so you need to enter your password that you want to keep it as a administration password for your device so that no one else will uh, use this to ch make any changes so enter a password here let me enter it now so i have given the password and uh, selected create to create it so it will take few minutes uh, yes it is on so as you can see here now it is showing that it is an airtel profile and uh, idp type is ipv4 so these are the things but you need to make some changes here now you cannot make any changes because it is the default settings that it is showing up here you need to select next here and uh, set your wireless name so we need to change the name uh, smart connect allows your mobile device to automatically switch to wi-fi band to provide the fastest uh, speeds it's fine so use the default uh, wireless settings now i will change the name and everything to later on because if i change it now then it will get disconnected and i won't be able to give you the demo so use the default you can uh, change here your name and password right go ahead next and uh, now it will ask uh, the profile and name and everything is what are the details that is given like the wi-fi name and wi-fi password now you go to go apply it will take a few minutes to do with it in the meantime you can check it out the symbols are still the same the power button uh, symbol there is uh, the internet connected symbol now it is connected this is the wi-fi on symbol and uh, this is the amount of uh, tower that we are getting we are getting one bar i think uh, this has around uh, four to five bars no, it has three bars three bars out of three we are getting one so now we will uh, are you unable to connect to internet it's showing okay reconfigure after it is done you will be getting a this type of screen what now you have to do is that you have to put your exact internet settings or else it will not connect to net so as you can see here uh, this has uh, some of the issues in the uh, internet settings so there is a problem in connecting so what i will do here you can go you can select create profile you can give your name i will give it uh, as airtel and uh, pdt type i will select uh, both the ipv4 ipv6 because it is ipv4 and 6 so it's done APN type is always static because in India I don't think anybody is giving a dynamic APN. So it is done, the APN is done. Now the for authentication type is CHAP. Now you have to select save. So now the settings have been saved and I always use 4G only here because i don't like to drop down to 3g because airtel has 3g okay you have done here all the settings mobile data on now you will select here save so it is saved now everything is done now we will check uh, the internet speeds that we are getting here i think uh, I have poor connectivity now in home uh, there is only one tower here we will check that out let's check oh, no internet speed history so pin tv this device is not bound to any tp id please bind for remote management okay uh, this is a new thing you can connect it with your you can make a tp link id in your tp link website and you can log in and add this device so that you can control this device remotely like if you are in a vacation and you want to make some changes here and you can do it by logging it to the tp-link uh, remote management website and you can make the changes here 
like you can switch on switch off okay so we will do this later and now we will check the speeds if there is a speed test here somewhere because it is a new device i am also doing this with you my friends internet connections no there is no speed test here agree test okay this is a new thing they have added here with this device particularly so you can check the internet speeds here download speeds and upload speeds and everything and it is checking it now we will check out it has only one bar here as you can see in one bar uh, we will see how much the speed that it is getting and also prime friends it depends on the network and uh, the quality of coverage that you are getting on your location uh, don't go with my test it might be good at your location and your area and uh, in my area it might be slow so as you can see here uh, we have a upload of uh, 2.8 mbps now and down of 3.2 mbps presently at present so the speed test is already uh, powered by speed test by okla so as you can see here uh, it is done so this is how you need to set up this device and uh, as I told you earlier, if you want to make the changes, if you want to make the changes of your Wi-Fi name and everything, then you can go ahead and do this here directly and change the password. Also, you can also select the encryption type. Uh, everything you can do it from the app, or you can also connect it to your uh, computer and do it on the same port number that is 192.168.1.1. Okay. So that's all my friends thank you for watching this uh, is the video and this was a good experience with this new device as i compared with all the device if you have any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section below i will be very happy to answer you out and do buy this device if you are facing a lot of problems at your home and you are fed up you for using of the all airtel hotspots or geo hotspots this gives a good coverage it gives a constant speed and you can watch 4k videos on your smart tvs android tvs or as well as your phone and the, finally the last information that i would like to share that tp link has increased the devices that it can support on the Wi-Fi that is 64 devices you can connect up to 64 devices nowadays so that's all my friends thank you for watching this was the video for TP-Link Archer MR600 4G LD Wi-Fi router this is a 4G plus cat 6 Wi-Fi router <laughs> let me rephrase it okay thank you my friends bye bye